se rompió. Vincent Falco, what did I tell you? But dad! What did I tell you? That I'm grounded. Vale, el padre le quitó exactly. el videojuego. Exactly, and that means no TV, no radio, and no video games. That's so unfair. ¿Por qué está castigado? Are you joking? You and your criminal friends blew away half of Mrs. Johnson's garden. Vale, por eso. Ha volado la mitad del jardín de la señora Johnson. No me arrepiento de nada, lo hicimos con fines científicos. Lo siento, fue un accidente, no sabíamos que el sodio era tan volátil. Bueno, tanto si era con fines científicos como si no, metiste la pata. Así que lo lógico sería disculparte. I'm sorry. It was an accident. We didn't know that sodium was so volatile. Vinny, you're a smart kid, and I'm glad you like science. But there are a lot of things to do other than electrocuting, burning, or blowing stuff up. I get the point. I I'm sorry. That's much better. But you are still grounded. So no video games. You understand me? I understand. That's much better. See you tomorrow. But just in case you didn't understand me well enough, I'll be taking these cartridges with me. But Dad! Hey, it takes courage to apologize when you did something wrong. You're growing, and I'm proud of you. That means I'm not grounded anymore? Nope, but it reduces your sentence. I don't want you to think that your decisions don't have consequences. Because believe me, they do. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to deal with the results of your actions. Remember, your attitudes toward other people matters. Anyways. I'm locking this door. Good night. Vale, ya me está diciendo que no puedo salir por esa puerta. Y también me está diciendo... Someone's rocks in my window. If I had to guess, it's Nick or Tony. Probably Nick. Vale, también me está diciendo que, see what's going on. que las... Depende de cómo trate a la gente, eh, cambia, cambia el juego. Las decisiones que tomen el juego cambia la historia. Bueno, vamos a abrir la ventana. ¡Hey, Vinny, Vinny! Shut up, Nick. I'm grounded. Oh, yeah. Well, me too. I think everyone heard about our uh, experiments near Mrs. Johnson's garden. Then what are you doing here? Are you crazy? The last of the crap Tony needs to make a signal descrambler came in the mail. We're gonna get pay-per-view cable for free. We gotta get to Tony's house. Uh, I'm not so sure, Nick. Three words, man. Naked chicks on TV. Those are four words. But <sighs> you win. Give me a minute. Just keep it quiet, all right? Vale. Eh, han recibido un decodificador para ver la televisión gratis. Y lo único que quieren ver son desnudos. A ver, ¿qué tenemos por aquí? Pedalines de bicicleta. Vale, pedales de bicicleta. It could be fun to start practicing BMX stunts again. No, parece un Yoda, ¿no? One of Luke Masters. Sí. I think he would look silly fighting a regular sized person. Yoda con milenario. Tenemos un póster de Regreso al Futuro. I love this movie concept. It's a perfect blend of sci-fi elements with classic nostalgia. It just works on so many levels. No sé qué película es esta. La Guerra de los Mundos, sí. It was so awesome. When I was a little kid, I used to watch it at my grandpa's. The alien laser sound effects were so scary. 50 movies are great. Y es la peli original de, lo, de la Guerra de los Mundos. It's my super comfy bed. No comic books hiding below it this time. 
Doc Martinez told me I should avoid heavy lifting if I want to grow taller. And Samantha Silverman is taller than me. So that's a no-go for now. Yeah. La excusa para no hacer la cama. No more cool stuff hiding here. Nada. The door is locked. I don't recall where I left the key, but it should be around here somewhere. The best console that ever existed, and it's all mine! Eight whole bits of raw power! Bunch of eats. This used to be my grandma's TV. It's black and white, and the antenna doesn't really pick anything up. But it works with my video games, and that's really the only thing I need. Hey, there's the key to my wardrobe! Now I remember. I put it here because my sister is allergic to these flowers. Now that I say it out loud... Man... I sound paranoid. But I'm almost positive she uses my things when I'm out. Rad! It's full of clothes and old stuff. Why the hell I locked this with the key? Oh yeah... My sister wanted to steal my jacket. Hey, my old Roboto battle station! What were you doing there? Estación espacial. I know this is just a pulley. Es una pulley ¿vale? But when I was a little kid, I used to pretend that this was a battle station named Roboto. I wrote Mr. Roboto on it with a mark. Para eso está la tirolina. Ay no, eso no. Así es como va a salir Good idea. de la casa. But I'll need to add some kind of handle like a grip. Los pedales. Ahora sí. The window of the treehouse is closed. I should ask Nick to open it, or else I'll end up crashing through the window. Hey! What? Are you sure Tony made a signal disc scrambler? Yes, yeah, of course. Probably. Maybe. The point is, there is a big chance of seeing uncensored adult movies tonight, and you shouldn't miss it! Isn't Tony grounded too? Yes, but his grandmother's deaf as a doornail. Remember the time we hit a llama in Tony's basement? She never found it. Yeah, I guess she won't notice us either. Can you help me get out? Yeah, sure, jump. I'll catch you. You said that to Eddie Martinez and he broke a leg. Well, that's different. Eddie Martinez is fat. He's not my friend and his parents don't know mine. Forget it. I'm not going to jump. Por qué no? Is anyone around? The coast is clear. You are safe to escape. Perfect! It's South Plains at night. What do you expect? Everyone is sleeping or watching TV. Can you open the treehouse window? Are you gonna use the zipline? Isn't that, like, kinda risky? I mean, Menos fall. Saltar. Your dad is going to find you all crippled. Then he's going to call my parents. And I don't want that to happen. Don't worry, man. If I break a leg, I will silently crawl back to my home. Okay, I understand. I guess a night of free pay-per-view cable is worth the risk. Ahora sí puedo usar. Just give me a minute. Okay, but hurry. Ahí está. Puedo usar el, la polea 
Okay, this is my one-way ticket out. Let's make this thing spin. Ahí es donde hicieron el experimento. Y hay un bote ahí. Algo me dice que todo esto que estamos viendo lo, ver, lo veremos más adelante. Iremos pasando por todos estos sitios. Hey, Tony! We're here! Did we miss anything? No, not really. I'm almost done connecting the antenna. Are you sure this is going to work? Why does it even need the antenna if we're trying to pick up cable? I installed a transmitter on the cable box down the street. That way there's no big obvious wires leading right to this house. And believe me, this thing has way more power than we need to watch free cable. You still have those pony bed sheets? Yeah, the pony cartoon has its moments. And my grandmother thinks ponies are cool. No andes por ahí diciendo eso, los ponies apestan, sí, la verdad es que sí. Ya hay bastante mayor para usar. Don't go around saying that. Ponies are lame. If you want to bring a girl to this room, you should definitely get rid of that. Hey, I told you my grandmother thinks it's cool. I can't argue that much with a World War II veteran. Anyways... When are we gonna start watching adult television? After some final adjustments. Can you move the antenna a bit? Okay, let me try. It's working! What the hell is that? Looks like some kind of sci-fi movie. From China? What language is this even in? I have no idea. But I didn't build a descrambler, so we could catch the international channel. Let's try another one. Something's wrong. This thing is on every single channel. On the plus side, we can watch Chinese movies. What the hell was that? That wasn't a shooting star. I don't think that was a movie. What do you mean? It could be possible that we just witnessed some sort of distress call from a spaceship that just crashed in the South Plains Greenwoods. I I'm not sure. What if it was just the weirdest coincidence ever? Then what are we waiting for? That wasn't far from here. Let's go find out. But what about the Cable Girls? Look, if that was an alien spaceship, we could be the first humans to meet beings from another planet. Don't you want to be part of human history? But the girls... 
I'm pretty <laughs> sure that if we become part of human history, we'll get more girls than if we stay home stealing cable. You got a point. Let's get moving. Le den a los extraterrestres. Lo primero son las chicas de la tele. According to my calculations, we must be near. Yeah, it smells like burnt ass. It's too bumpy. We'll have to walk from here. It looks like it was hit by a lightning. Or a fireball. Maybe the alien did this? No, Vinny was right. It was definitely a lightning strike. It was like that a week ago when I went hiking with my dad. Debería repetir eso otra vez. Vieja válvula de la compuerta. This rusty thing controls the flow of the stream. I can't move it. It's too rusty. Let me give it a try. Yeah, this is too rusty. We need something to lube it up. Falta algún tipo de aceite para desatascar la rueda. This tree gives me the creeps. It's a tree, all right. And it's not going anywhere. Look, the bushes are moving. Hello? Mr. Extraterrestrial, is that you? Uh, we saw your transmission. We come in peace. They don't... Those are lobos. Those are not the aliens we're looking for. Those are wolves. I knew this was a bad idea. Quick! Pretend to be bigger! Wolves almost never attack adults! Go away! I've got a mortgage to pay! Shoo! Shoo! Really? Shut up! It's working! Shoo! Shoo! I have three kids and a boring job! Shoo! This isn't working. Any other plan? No sé lo que les decir. Quizás si corro van detrás y los matan. Vamos a correr. A ver. Run! Every man for himself. Let the quicker mourn the slower. Hey, I'm the slowest. I don't know. I'm not feeling that agile tonight. I ate way too many tacos at dinner. Do we have any other plans than cowardly running? No se puede correr. Okay. Those wolves were bad enough, but that sound perturbed me even more. If that was an alien, aliens are loud. We should get away from here before the wolves change their minds. Ese ruido no era el mismo que el de la guerra de los mundos. Me parece que sí. What are you doing here? This is no time to visit the woods, kids. Didn't you know the area is full of wolves? Yeah, we just saw some of them over there. You were lucky they didn't attack you. You better get home. If you do it quick, I won't tell your parents about this. Sir, yes, sir. Let's go. Wait. Do you know what this blue liquid is? It was like this when we got here. Did you see or hear anything else unusual tonight? No. Something tells me you're not being honest with me. Does anyone else know that you... What the hell? 
Run! Let's get to the treehouse. Este no es amable. Este no es un, un extraterrestre amable. Okay. Here's the situation. There's a killer alien in town, and we're the only ones that know about it. We should tell the police. We could try, but I don't think they'll believe us. We could at least tell the park rangers that one of their guys was attacked in the woods. That makes sense. I think we should stop it ourselves. Who knows how many people that creature is going to kill before the police realize what's up? Any suggestions on how we're gonna do that? I was thinking of setting a trap. A bear trap. No one can escape a bear trap. I think it would be better if we could ensnare him with a strong net. He seems to have long limbs, so in my opinion, a net would be the more effective option. We could dig a big hole and cover it with leaves. Who do you think you are, Willie E. Coyote? Because your net idea is so much better! Please remind me, what are we trying to catch again? An alien or a shark? Gentlemen, please, there's no need to argue. Look, we don't know anything about this alien, except that it's all gangly and likes to stab people. Maybe we should take a blanket approach, you know? Cover all our bases. We can put together a bigger trap that uses all three ideas. The hole, the net, and the bear trap. At least if it fails, nobody can point fingers. Sounds fair to me. And don't worry about digging the hole. I'm sure the bull will help us with that. He owes me big time. Pues eso, lo siguiente es hacer una trampa para capturar al alien. Calle de Nick. Guardabosques, calle de Vini. Al puente, vale. Pues tenemos que ir a todos sitios porque... Aquí no creo. Jack. Aquí está la trampa para Oso. No me la va a dejar llevar. Poor bear. Do you think the alien killed it? No, just buckshot. There are a number of diminutive entry wounds. The alien appears to kill via evisceration with claws. Great! Someone gave the alien a shotgun. No me lo podré llevar tampoco. It is as heavy as a dead bear can be. Y supongo que la trampa para osos tampoco me la podré llevar. Okay. Hey, that's evidence. Leave that where it is. Así que tengo que hacer algo para poderme llevar la trampa, a ver. That will land me in jail. Hello. Hi kids. Hi, Ranger Troy. What are you doing up so late? What kind of trouble you got brewing this time? I'm guessing you wouldn't believe us. Se lo digo, hay un alien en el bosque, vale. There is an alien in the woods! <laughs> hey Jack, did you hear that? I wish I didn't. Sorry kids, we don't have time for your games. We already have enough trouble with unscrupulous hunters. Yes we do. Isn't one of your rangers missing? No. Why do you ask? Someone attacked a ranger in the green woods. We saw it. This is something serious, kids. When did all this happen? Uh, I don't know. A few minutes ago? Gotcha. I knew you were messing with us. We're the only two rangers on the night shift. Right, Jack? Yep, you were right. You've got to believe us. The allí. ranger we saw was blonde and skinny. There are no skinny rangers in South Plains. Can you at least call the central station and ask if someone was sent to check Green Woods? Mm, okay. Vale, a lo mejor es así como se van. Samantha? <sighs> yes, Troy? Was someone sent to the Green Woods tonight? No, Troy. Did something happen? 
Nah, it's just some kids trying to prank me. Good night, Samantha. Good night, Bye. Troy. Are you happy now? ¿Cómo hacemos que se den cuenta de que alguien está muerto? Can we take the bear trap? No, that is evidence. Can you lend it to us? We'll bring it back, we promise. No, I will not lend a bunch of kids an illegal trap that is, in fact, evidence in a very complicated case. So, I guess that if we ask you to lend us a shotgun, the answer would also be no, right? You guessed right. I told you the one with the glasses was a smart one. We saw something weird in the woods. You shouldn't be alone in the woods at this time of year in the middle of the night. Unless you want to be wolf food. And you don't want to be wolf food. But we saw a big creature. A bear? No, it was more like an alien. I hope you're trying to play a prank on us. Otherwise, television is frying your brains. Goodbye. Goodbye, kids. Ya hablamos con Jack. No sé si será muy diferente. Hello. Hi kids. I'm kind of busy trying to write my novel. Go talk with Ranger Troy over there. How long have you been just clipping your nails? Five hours? Uh, not much to clip at this point, but I find it good for creative thinking. However, uh, I'm kind of having writer's block. I have a few ideas, but I don't know how to follow up on them after the initial premise. Maybe you should stop clipping your nails and just write. You know nothing about creative thinking. It's all about procrastination. May we help you with your writing? Well, uh, I'm having troubles with a few ideas. Tell me if you have any good follow-up for this situation. The protagonist finds a mysterious tall man that kills a cop in front of him. A piano with a bomb attached falls over the protagonist's head while a rattlesnake bites him. A woman faints after seeing a wild lion and they run out of smelling salts to wake her up. The protagonist and his friends are confronted by a group of hyenas. About the mysterious tall man. Yeah? What if the protagonist and his friends make a trap to catch him? Uh, yeah, a big trap so he can't escape. Then they can ask him all kinds of questions. Like, why he killed the cop, or why he's on this planet. What are you talking about? He is from this planet. In fact, plot twist, he is going to be the long-lost father of the protagonist. But now he's part of the Empire and is into some dark cult. That sounds suspiciously close to the plot twist of the second Galaxy Wars movie. <laughs> Nonsense. Forget it. Okay, see ya! This is what Ranger Jack has been writing. Don't you dare. No, no nos deja llevarnos los papeles. Calendario. The calendar is marked for a hunting season and a few other events. Like the Purple Pumpkin Festival and Lizard Day. It's a map of the city and the surrounding forest. Now that I think about it, this one is much better than the one we have at the treehouse. Metal note, steal the map from the ranger station. Or ask for a copy. Vale, tenemos que demostrarle de alguna manera que alguien ha muerto en el, en el bosque, hay alguien muerto. Vamos a volver al bosque a ver si todavía está aquí. Y este es el líquido que decía antes. Some blue liquid spilled on the ground. It smells funny. Pues 
no sé cómo vamos a convencerlo. Si estuviera el cadáver, al menos podíamos hacerle una foto o, o algo. I think this is one of the oldest pines in the woods. I can't find anything in this bush. Vale, vamos a probar afuera del trailer. The tag says, when you mess with the bull, you get the horns. There's some tally marks. 26 of them. It's some kind of shrub. It's Slethra almifolia, commonly known as sweet pepper bush. What? How do you know that? Are you a botany nerd now too? No. My grandmother's into gardening. Water's not supposed to smell like that. I don't want to carry that around. Man, I'm not touching that. Seems like the garbage collector doesn't come here very often. Let's see what we got. A ver si hay algo útil. Bingo! Three things that are not completely garbage. A Jumpy Joe toy, a chipmunk's cassette, and a number five wrench. Jumpy Joe and the chipmunk's tape are clearly garbage. Okay, I'll ditch the chipmunks, but I'm keeping Jumpy Joe. It's vintage. Vale, a ver, esto se ha quedado con... Con el muelle, que... Jumpy Joe, que es un muelle. Y una llave. Hi, Bull. Hey, kids. You here to play some more video games? I got a new one. We need your help. There's a killer creature from outer space in town. Holy shit, what? A killer alien? That sounds dangerous! You should stay away from it. Are you going to help us? As much as I want to lend a hand with space hunting, I'm really busy. You are playing video games! Oh yeah, these things can be real addictive. And believe me, I know about addictive shit. So, are you going to help us? No, I really can't. You see that guy over there? Yes. Well, he's hidden something he stole from one of my clients. My client wants it back. I have to make him talk. Can you do that later? He can't escape. No, this is one of those clients you don't want to mess with. But there is a creature from outer space here in South Plains. Believe me, kiddo. If they think I'm double-crossing them, they will come for me. Even if the whole cast of Galaxy Wars is running around town. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? I see unusual stuff all the time. The guy handcuffed in the bathroom, for instance. Would you mind being more specific? Did you see an alien creature? No. Are you sure? Does the alien resemble a Colombian mobster? No. Then I did not see it. What is that guy doing handcuffed in the bathroom? Well, he's hidden something el brazo, he stole eh? from one of my clients. My client wants it back. Now I have to make him talk. But he's unconscious. Yeah, I kind of overdid my bad thug, good thug routine. But what could I do? There was no good thug. I think that's the downside of working alone. Es el brazo el que está colgando. Solo el brazo, porque el resto está aquí. 
What did that guy steal? What do I always tell you? That stabbing someone is easier if that someone doesn't know he is about to be stabbed? Yeah, but what else? The less we know about your work, the better for us. What game are you playing? Maze Quest. Oh, this game is awesome. Did you know that if you beat this game, you can send a letter with a code to the developers of the game? And you can win a golden crown! A real solid golden crown! Tubular! Yeah, finally a game that inspires some emotions in real life. Can you help us hunt the alien? I would love to, but I can't. I'm in the middle of something important. Could you help us dig a hole? You owe me at least that much. I know, but right now... Wait a minute. You need me to dig a hole? Yes! Does it matter where I dig it? It has to be in a secluded area near town. Perfect. I know the guy over there buried what he stole, so once we know where it is, me and the guys will dig a big hole to retrieve it. You can keep the hole if you want. Hmm... Okay. Vale, ya tenemos dos de las tres cosas que hacen falta. Sabemos dónde está... Bueno, tenemos... No, sabemos dónde está la trampa para osos. Sabemos quién va a hacer el agujero. Pero necesitamos ahora que los... Que los guardabosques se vayan para coger la trampa de osos. Y necesitamos saber... Goodbye. Lo que ha robado... Goodbye, kids. Eh, el que está aquí. Y dónde lo ha enterrado. Botella de whisky. Can I have this one? Not yet, kid. When you get old and stupid, I'll share. I'd rather not touch that. There's a huge cockroach hiding between the slices. It's a heavily beaten man chained to a pipe. Is he dead? Hope not. Dead men can't talk. And I need answers. Don't worry. He's breathing. there. I'm saving them for practice with Monica. I'm sure it would be better if you use a real target. <laughs> a real target? A paper target doesn't explode into a thousand pieces when you hit it. Call me old-fashioned, but bottles are the way to go. A bofetear al hombre golpeado. Sir, are you okay? Wake up! Now yes, he's out of it. Hay que despertarlo de alguna manera. Pizza con mis para adultos que no creo que se lo pueda llevar. Estante de rifles. Vale, sigamos mirando sitios a ver si... Calle de Tony y calle de Vini. A ver si encontramos algo que podamos hacer despertar al, al que está atado en el baño. Supongo que no va a entrar en la casa si está castigado. Opening the door will make it pretty obvious that I escaped. No. And I'm pretty sure that, but there's a killer alien in town, won't be a valid argument. Vale, pero quizá habría algo. Ah, a lo mejor en la casa del árbol hay algo. Algo útil. It's pretty much empty. That's how it seems. 
This reminds me of a Pony Show episode where there is a magical fridge that... We already told you, ponies are lame! Oh yeah? And what is cool? I don't know, transforming robots, cat-like warriors, half-man, half-hawk, space cyborgs, almost everything! But ponies. Okay... The only thing Come left in here is my broken Polaroid camera. It's not broken anymore. I fixed it. Well, kinda. You can only take pictures and ambiances that are mainly illuminated by infrared lights, but it's better than nothing. Where are the rest of the things we usually store here? Oh yeah, I took some stuff home. I hope you don't mind. You even took my extra pair of glasses. Yeah, did you know that if you point them at the right angle on a sunny day, you can burn ants? Bueno, tenemos una Polaroid. Quizás si haya que hacer alguna foto de del cadáver y enseñárselo a los guardias. Aquí había un bote antes. At least until she forgives us. Estaba aquí el bote, ¿verdad? I don't know. It got us in a lot of trouble before. We may need to leverage this destructive power if we want to defeat a killer creature from outer space. Besides, it wasn't the sodium carbonate that blew up Mrs. Johnson's stuff. I mean, it was in part, but crafting that bomb took a lot of work and ingredients. It's quite inert at the moment. Go ahead, take it. These chemicals are always handy. Vale, yo lo que quería era el bote. Pero parece que lo importante es el carbonato de sodio. It's a big Santa statue with some reindeer. These people take Christmas seriously. Hmm, a lo mejor hay algo interesante aquí. Plastic bags, foam, cardboard boxes. Hey, here is a lovely Christmas red light bulb. Vale. This is not a Christmas light. It's an infrared light bulb. It even says it on the side. Esto es yeah. para usar la cámara por la hoy, por la hoy que está rota. One. Tubular. Hello. Hello. Hey, uh, I've seen you around. You're the kid next door, right? You live with the... Uh, with the... With the old deaf lady. Yes, she is my grandmother. Her name is Ophelia, my name is Tony, and no, I'm not visiting her, I live with her. Cool! Well, that was a lot of information, so, uh... My name is Gary Wilson. You can call me Gary. I work in the video game industry. My wife is Victoria Wilson. I live with her, and she will kill me if I don't set up these Christmas lights tonight. I see you have a problem there. Yeah, I made a mess with this cable, and now I can't reach the plug with it. I think I need another extension cord. Don't you have enough cable there? Believe me, every time I try to untangle this, it just gets worse. Ah, this is just like some kind of anaconda cable. Have you seen something unusual tonight? Other than this extremely complicated mess, no, not really. Am I missing something? No, not really. But if you happen to see an alien creature, please tell us. I'll be sure to let you know. What video games have you made? Oh, well, I've made many games. 
The last game I was involved with was Maze Quest The Stone World. There's real life treasure for the players brave enough to beat it. That game is extremely unfair and the clues it gives are insufficient to correctly solve a puzzle. No, 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 no. <laughs> you will realize there are subtle clues in the comics, toys, and serials on how to beat the game. Do you know how expensive the comics, toys, and serials are? Yep. That's why we made the game that way. I heard the game is impossible. You want to know how to beat it? Let's make a deal. You bring me an extension cord, and I'll tell you how to solve the unicorn riddle. Can you tell us how to find the unicorn too? No, I wasn't involved in that part of the game. But it can't be that hard. Is making video games as fun as it sounds? Yeah, making games is awesome! Do you like coding? No. Do you like doing art? No. Do you like repetitive stuff? No. Then, <laughs> you're not going to enjoy making games that much. Goodbye. Goodbye, guys. Vale, hace falta un alargador. Montador Geiger. Great idea. If the alien comes from space, chances are he's been exposed to all kinds of radiation. We should be able to detect him with this. Him? Or his spaceship? His ship, his pet, his socks. Anything that came from space should have higher rad levels than normal and set off the Geiger counter. The faster and louder it beeps, the closer you are to the radioactive source. <laughs> rad levels. Un cartucho. May I have it? Yeah, sure. But I have to warn you, my cousin gave it to me because it's broken. Supposedly, when you turn it on, the screen just goes blue or white. I guess he wanted me to repair it, but I don't have anywhere to test it. What happens if I press... Don't. This is no time to play with the computer. You always come up with the lousiest excuses to keep us from playing with this thing! I think preventing an alien invasion is a pretty good excuse. Podemos volver a la habitación de Vinny, pero creo que no se va a poder. No. Vale, si volvemos otra vez al tráiler de Toro, él sí tiene... Aquí está, él sí tiene una consola de videojuegos. Podríamos probar el cartucho este. I can't play Top Cruise there. ¿Por qué? ¿Y si se lo das a él? I can't play Top No. Vale, tenemos el centro comercial. Vamos a ver si hay algo interesante por aquí. Definitely locked. It's locked. Aquí hay una consola. Vamos a ver si podemos probar el cartucho. 
Want to trade your game in the trading club? Pretty much. Can you show me your Emerald ID? Or the ID of a customer program of any of our partners? Well, no, no tengo. This box has stuff up for trade. Let's see what we got. Vale, a ver si hay algo interesante para intercambiar por el juego the roto. thing in here is the Boy Scouts Guide to Essential Knots. Knot books are really cute. Pues seguro que nos hace falta. Seguro que la revista de nudos nos hace falta. Pero claro, necesitamos un carnet. Hello. Get lost, morons. I'm busy right now. You don't seem to be that busy. Well, I am. No, you are not. You are just smoking. Oh, shut up. He has a mobile phone. Wow, this guy must be loaded. Or he stole it. Vale, por ahora. Con este no sé lo que hacer. The Gager counter started to beep. up something in the hedge. Let me see. No, more to the left. A bit more to the right. Look what we got here. What do we got here? Yeah, what did we get? I don't know. A spear? It has a weird shine to it. This definitely came from outer space. Do you think it's linked to the alien? I don't know. It has some kind of button here. I wonder what would happen if I pressed it. Recoger algo radioactivo. Ah, es un ojo. Es el ojo de este bicho. El ojo del alien. He's pues recoger algo radioactivo no creo que sea muy buena idea. Eh. Whatever this is, he's looking for it. Okay. Now we have a way to call the alien's attention. Just don't touch that button again until we have set up our trap. Exacto. Sirve para atraerlo hacia la trampa. It's locked. Nothing interesting inside these drawers. The door is locked. Hey! Do you mind knocking first? <laughs> vale, el alargador lo podremos sacar de algún sitio de por aquí. May I move this? No, you don't want to make my mom angry. La bombilla no creo que. I have to put this one in an empty light bulb socket to work. It's a pink Christmas tree. Why would you have a pink Christmas tree? It was cheaper. Plus, Christmas trees are a pagan tradition. If you're gonna piss off God, you may as well save some money in the process. He's right, surprisingly. I'm trying to bake a cake in here. Get out! Well, no, 
el alargador no está aquí. Is he blind? No, he's watching his Ben Hur VHS tapes. When he's in that mood, he can't focus on anything else. Nothing interesting inside these drawers. Hello! I'm trying to talk here. No, a friend of my brother. Yeah. No, the one that looks like a lizard. Hey, I'm still here. I'm on the phone? I thought I was the one who looked like a lizard. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? You also heard about that? Raul's dating Mary. But she doesn't know he was with his sister last week. But Mary met up with Raul's brother that same day. Everyone is talking about that. We were asking you about an alien. Well, maybe Raul's family's from Argentina, but it's still impolite to refer to people like that. Oh, forget about it. May I use the phone? No way. But Diane, it's something important. Uh, no freaking way. Wait your turn, like Kevin. Vale, para que quiero usar el teléfono. Who are you talking to? None of your business. It's Rebecca Watterson, right? Tell her I said hi. <sighs> My brother says hi. No, Nick. She asked me to tell you to stop stalking her. I don't stalk her. I have a friend that lives near her house. What friend? Um, Willie Wilson? That's like the worst made-up name ever. Goodbye. Vale. Quiero usar el teléfono por alguna razón. Y hemos visto que delante del bar hay un alguien con un teléfono. No sé si estará relacionado. Hello. Hi guys. Why are you just sitting there? Waiting for my turn to use the telephone. This week's rotation to use the phone is Mom, Diane, Dad, Nick, Diane, Billy, Tom, Diane, Diane, and me. So I'm next in line. Why so many Dianes? Is that not unfair? It used to be just Diane. Believe me, it's much better now. Why do you want to use the telephone? I want to enjoy the delights of spontaneous comedy. What does he mean? He wants to make some prank calls. He takes this so seriously. He'll spend hours calling the same number. Who are you planning to call? Today it's the morgue, the funeral home, and the cemetery. This week has been all about dark humor. Yeah, it's starting to get old. If you have a number, I'm vale. open to suggestions. Vale, vale. Necesito algún número para que el niñato este le llame y distraer a la otra persona. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? The hamster was already dead when I arrived. What? Nothing! Goodbye! Bye, guys! Yo lo miré, me parece. It's just garbage, man! Believe me, if we throw something out, it's useless. No, este no. El vagabundo. Hello. Hello. Are you goblins? No. That's exactly what a goblin will say. Did you see anything unusual tonight? Let me try to remember. Oh yeah, I remember I saw a fairy flying around today. A big mechanical killer fairy? Are you home? Something? Thought there was no mechanical killer fairy. It was just a regular fairy. What did it look like? It was made out of light and was about the size of a big apple. Where did you see it? 
He was flying around in the night sky and then he's somewhere around here. I was looking for her until you goblins showed up. Ah, uh, you have discovered us. We are goblins. I knew it! Now please tell me, where did you hide your pot of gold? Those are leprechauns. What? The ones with the pot of gold? Those are leprechauns. Yeah, we don't even have a credit card. What is the point of talking to goblins if they don't have any gold? I don't know. We can tell you to burn stuff. Or you can help us to complete deeds for a big magical reward. I know how your magical rewards work. I'm not gonna help you goblins. Y'all trying to cheat me. Are you drunk? L let me think about it. No. Well, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm drunk. You know anything about the message on the wall? Yeah, it was Mr. Morrison. He used to be a nice guy. He used to make some real good pasta. Eating his leftovers was always a delight. Then what happened? I don't know. One day he became a nut job. And believe me, my standard for defining a sane person are extremely low. Suddenly he believed in all kind of crazy conspiracies and weird mumbo jumbo. It is sad to see a man that can't differentiate between reality and fantasy. Why you ask? He steal your pot of gold? No, just curious. You do something other than drinking in the street? Mm. Well, I collect pony trading cards. Isn't that thing, like, super lame? No, and it's not cool to bully someone because he likes something you don't. Exactly. You are a very smart and kind goblin. Besides, the pony trading cards are not for me. I sell them to the girl at the school exit. And with that money, I go to the Bowers and Bowers Club. It's a great club. You'll never get what that place is all about. I have an idea. You defend me. I like you, smart goblin. Take this. With this, you get some free drinks at Bowers and Bowers Club. Can we get free boobs? No, you need a platinum car for that. Goodbye. Goodbye, little goblins. Vale, nos ha dado una tarjeta del club bebidas. It's a pretty fancy card for a place that sounds so cheap. Where is this club, anyways? About 20 minutes by car from here, or so I've heard. Mr. Morrison used to live here. I heard he left his house, right? He went bananas. I think he's in a mental hospital or something. Vale, quizás sepa algo. Vale, vamos a la granja de Ed a ver lo que encontramos. It's kind of too big to move. I always found scarecrows frightening. You know what's more frightening than scarecrows? Let me guess. A creature from outer space. No, a killer creature from outer space. Touché! It is too big and impractical to carry around. Hey kids, lovely not to be outside, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. So, what the hell are you doing on my property? We saw something in the woods and thought it may have headed this way. Hunting, huh? Look, I have no problem with you guys shooting around. Please be careful where you aim. I don't want to lose more cattle to gun accidents. You don't have any livestock left. 
Oh. Yeah. It's true. I had to calibrate my new rifle last week. Well, at least don't shoot the pumpkins. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? Yep. What did you see? We're kids in my farm out of nowhere. No. I mean, have you seen any weird-looking animals? Oh, yeah. I saw a duck wearing a shoe. Can you believe it? What the hell was he doing with a shoe? It looked so goofy. It made me laugh so hard. Where did it go? To ducky heaven. Or to my fridge. You don't believe in God. Oh. Is that a fishing net? Yeah, ahí está la red. Yeah, but it's clean. Almost no fish stink on it. Can you lend us your fishing net? No. I'm using it. Besides, what do you want it for? To catch something with it? Let me think about it. No. I'm too comfy. Can you loan us some weapons? No. There are two things that a man should never let another person take from him. His weapon and his wife. That order of priority. I mean, if someone took your wife, it could be painful. But at least he can't shoot you in the face with her. How is the farm going? There's not much to do on the farm at this time of year. So it's kind of... Boring. Don't you have any hobbies? I like hunting, but I already reached my quota. There's not much left to hunt around here. Don't you like anything else other than shooting innocent animals? Yeah, I also like fishing them. I usually fish at the farm stream. When the water level's been really low lately, there's nothing really worth fishing for. Ah, yes. Like that. Vale. O sea que si abro la válvula que está allí, sube el el nivel del agua. Y este irá a pescar, y seguramente nos dejará la red. Goodbye. See ya. Hey, there's something in the trunk. Some powder in a bag. It's fertilizer. Ugh, like shit. No, not that kind of fertilizer. Cool. Then now we got some fertilizer. Vale, el fertilizante y el carbonato de sodio se pueden mezclar para hacer una bomba. Ok, I will mix these two. Now Pero I have algo sodium más. carbonate with ammonium chloride. Is that explosive? No. Todavía no. I mean, I guess. It's a smelling salt. It's used in some sports... Sales aromáticas. Ah, ya está. Ya está. Ahora. A ver, puedo ir por este lado. Puedo salir por este lado. Esto me va a servir para despertar al que está atado en, en el baño. ¿Dónde está? Eh, aquí. Ok, let's give this a try. <laughs> He's awake! What kind of sorcery is this? It's not magic. Smelling salts release ammonia gas, which triggers an inhalation reflect by irritating the mucous membranes of the nose and lungs. Fainting can be caused by excessive parasympathetic and vagal activity that slows the heart and decreases perfusion of the brain. The sympathetic irritant effect is exploited to counteract these vagal parasympathetic effects and thereby reverse the faint. Cool. Yo pensaba que tenía el brazo cortado, pero es que es un brazo demasiado largo, ¿eh? No, no lo tiene cortado. Pero menudo brazo tan largo, desde aquí hasta aquí, es una exageración, ¿eh? Vale, vamos a hablar con él, a ver si nos dice dónde tiene escondido lo que quiera que Hello. haya robado. I will not talk. But you are conscious, right? Y yes. Good. A bofetear hombre golpeado. I think he has suffered enough. Vale, no lo va a hacer. The man is awake. Hello? I will not talk! But you are conscious, right? Y yes Good. Vale, no hablará. O sea que no me deja ni hablar. Uh. 
Displaying that we belong to the booze and boob club there isn't going to... Vale, ¿y si le digo a este que ya está despierto? Hi, Bo. Hi, kids. Hey, the guy over there woke up. Awesome. Aren't you going to make him talk? No, we have to beat this game first. Really? Isn't your job to... We can't let this game win. Vale. What game are you playing? Maze el juego Quest. es el mismo, oh, el juego del laberinto. Awesome. Vale, you know, es el mismo. This game you can send a letter with. Sí, esto ya lo hemos visto. Yeah. Goodbye. Goodbye. Si encuentro el alargador, nos va a decir cómo eh, cómo pasar el juego. Se lo decimos a este y entonces él hace que este hable. Deja de jugar y hace que hable. O sea, el primero. Así que lo primero que necesitamos es un alargador. La granja ya ha ido, el bosque ya ha ido, aquí también, el puente... Vamos a ir aquí. Hi. Hello. Did you see anything unusual tonight? Like what? Like an alien. <laughs> Don't be silly, kids. Aliens. We saw a creature in the woods! Take this. Here's the ranger's number. Bears are very vale. dangerous ya creatures. Ya lo tengo. No, it es wasn't el número a del bear. guardabosque. It was a huge alien. Yeah, like a robot or something. Mm, I'm sure it was just your imagination. Where did you say you saw this? In the green woods, near the main entrance. Okay. I think your imagination and the creepy shadows can sometimes trick your perception. I recommend you go back to your homes. It's kind of late. And don't go to the woods at night. It's full of bears and wolves. What is this facility all about? Telecommunications. Someone told me that some of the most prolific scientists from all over the world are working here, developing what will be the future of communications. I heard they are making phones so small that they can fit in your pocket. Awesome! He's messing with you. I've seen cellular phones. They don't fit a pocket, unless you've got huge pockets. May we enter? No. Authorized personnel only. But what if we bring in authorized ID? I will know that it's fake. Look, security here is no joke. There are no kids allowed. Not even I can enter the facility. And I've been working here for three months already. Why is New Frontier always so heavily guarded? Have you heard of industrial espionage? No. It's when a company spies in another company to gain access to its secrets and technology. Exactly. And New Frontier is all about technology. I heard that the Soviets are particularly interested in getting their hands on the New Frontier's prototypes. How paranoid. Goodbye. Good night, kids. Head home now. It's late. Knocking on the window will only annoy the guards. I can't open this barrier with a guard looking at me. Well, technically you can, but then you will have to deal with the consequences of your actions. And, of course, we don't want that. Yes, I know. Okay, just saying. Vale, a ver qué hay en la basura. Si hay algo útil. Dime que hay un alargador There's o algo así. nothing in there. No hay nada. Vale, eh... No, Tony, Vini, Nick. Vamos a ir a darle al hermano pequeño de Nick el número de teléfono de los guardias.
para que le gaste broma. Oh, the Rangers. I've never called them. It could be really refreshing to have something new in my repertoire. Vale, pero tengo que dejar que la hermana deje de hablar. Y eso va a estar complicado. Vamos a ir al carril del amor. A ver. Luz de cartel. Tenemos una bombilla infrarroja. Done. Is this working? I see little difference. Well, that's the magic of infrared light. Oh, I see. No, you don't. That's like the whole point. Se supone que ahora puedo hacer fotos. Una botella de cerveza. It's sticky and smells weird. I'd rather not touch it. Vale, voy a hacerle fotos a estos dos mientras se besan. It can only take pictures of objects that are mainly illuminated by infrared light. And there is only one film left in the camera, so I better make it count. No lo ha hecho. Entonces tengo que hacer algo. Vidrio roto. I prefer to keep my hands away from pointy pieces of glass. Vale, a lo mejor lo tengo que hacer en el momento adecuado. It can only... No. I would probably get third degree burns if I do that. The bulb's temperature is super hot right now. Vale, entonces qué? Yo creía que hay que había que hacerle fotos a esto todo. Vamos a mirarlos primero, a lo mejor. Not much to see there. No hay mucho que ver. It's just a couple making out. Although, if we were in a horror movie, the alien would show up right now and kill them. Yeah, and wait a minute. That's Brandon, my sister's new boyfriend. He's cheating on her? Ahora sí. And with Sofia Lombardo, I knew he was a scumbag! What should we do? Nothing. Una foto. Ahora sí. I want her to see this with her own eyes. Okay. Let's see if this works with infrared light, as you say. Perfect. Ahora la foto. You, but why do you want that picture? I thought that Nick was the pervert. Don't be an idiot. Now we have proof that Brandon is secretly dating Sofia Lombardo. Who the hell is Sofia Lombardo? You don't know her? She's the cheerleading captain. No, no idea who she is. Vale, ten tenemos la prueba. Tenemos la foto. Vamos a ir otra vez a casa de Nick. Enseñarle la foto a la hermana. Que deje de hablar por teléfono. Y el hermano que empieza a gastar bromas. What? Brandon, you cheating bastard. I'll teach him. Thanks, Nick. Now I'll teach that jerk a lesson. Hola, qué exagerada. <ríe> qué bestia. Wow, your sister is about to commit a murder. Aren't we supposed to do something about that? Ah, she won't kill him. She's done this before. Twice. Oh. Is anyone in your family not a potential psychopath? Am I the only one thinking about the missed opportunity of having a firearm with us while looking for a killer alien? To be honest, no. Vale, ahora se supone que el hermano está haciendo llamadas de broma a los a los guardabosques. 
Pero antes de ir a los guardabosques a ver si me puedo llevar el... la trampa para osos, voy a volver otra vez aquí a ver si está pasando algo. Se han ido. The sign was vandalized. I guess no one will ever know that the next road to the left leads to Darkestville. What a stupid name for a town. Ah, uh, aceite. Vale. Sure. Bien, ya sabemos para lo que es. That van is moving a lot. <laughs> That Volkswagen Type 2 is moving a lot. Too bad. The suspension on that thing isn't that good. I guess somebody took the free candy at the park today. Oh man, that's sick! What? It was just a joke! I don't want to get involved with that van. Ya está. Vale, tenemos el aceite. Primero vamos a intentar... A ver lo que está pasando en, en la estación de los guardabosques. Ahora está dado la vuelta. Y ahora, en teoría, me puedo llevar esto. Ok. Ya está. Perfect Shut. Una de las cosas. Ahora, si volvemos al bosque... Aquí está. Y con el aceite desbloqueamos la válvula esta. Now I can turn the valve. Se pone a pescar y ya tenemos la red. Y tendríamos dos de las tres cosas. Eh, la granja It's a mess of knots I have no idea how Por eso necesitamos el libro. Para esto necesitamos el libro. Pero claro, antes hace falta un carnet. El puente. Esto no lo he visto todavía. It's a van. It's a Renault Master 1980. These originally launched with the 2.5 liter Fiat Sofim diesel engine. You remember that? But you can't remember to wipe your feet when you enter someone's home? Unbelievable. I can't do that with the owner around. Besides, I don't know how to drive. I do. Um, should I state that being chased by the police would not help us capture the alien? Un alargador. Ah, pero está este viendo no. No nos va a dejar. Can you please stop touching my tools? Yes, sir. Necesitamos ese alargador. Hello. Hey kiddos, what do you need? Have you seen anything unusual tonight? Oh, I know what you mean. That you thought it was freaking huge. I was so distracted by that almost crap the van. You saw it too, right? Yeah, we saw it. Did you notice anything unusual afterwards? Temperature dropping, radio malfunctioning, compass going crazy? No. Why the hell would I carry a compass? Is the bridge broken? Under maintenance. It's not the same as broken. But just give that idiot Andrew a few more minutes. I'm sure he'll break it. Could you lower the bridge? Is there an emergency going on? 
does an alien invasion count? Mm, no, if there's an alien invasion, I get the bridge schedule will be adjusted by the new intergalactic administration. You seem pretty busy. Is there any way we could help? Yeah, you see that Kenny guy over there? Yes. That's Andre. Could you please point out to him what Cable of the Green One? He is colorblind. Okay. Andre, I'm sending over some kids to help you find the green cable. Please don't screw it up this time. Can you fix a broken bear trap? I can fix a bear trap, but that thing too dangerous to be handled by a bunch of kids, so forget it. I don't want some friend of yours losing the leg over some practical joke. Goodbye. Goodbye, kids. Vale, o sea que la trampa está rota. The bear trap is kind of broken. It is. It needs a spring to work. Ah. It can't be triggered as it is. Vale. Necesita un resorte. Ya está arreglada. Hello, sir. Hey, kids. Have you seen anything unusual tonight? Besides that stupid fallen star that is trying to call and almost made a craft the van? Yes! Uh, anything else? Well, tonight, Carl paid for the coffee. Not pretty unusual. He's a pretty big chief kid, you know? What are you doing? Doing some bridge maintenance. What kind of maintenance? Oh no, like clearing the things and then you adjust them both and check them juice. It's pretty technical stuff. I think you're too young to get it. Usually, it's just motors, pulleys, and counterweights. I'd say it's fairly easy to understand for someone of a young age. It's not like, I don't know, Boolean algebra. Or girls. Can we help you with something? Not at this moment. I think I've got everything under control. Everything is fine. Fine and dandy. You have no idea where to start, do you? Nope. Not a clue. The man over there told me I should point out the cable you need to work on. Oh yeah! Being colorblind can be annoying sometimes. Vale, si le digo el cable equivocado, puede que meta la pata y el otro venga aquí y yo le pueda robar el, el alargador. Voy a decir el que no es. Thanks. Well, this is something new. You had a car over there to pass me the wrench. Hello. Hey, kiddos. What do you need? Andre told me to ask you for the wrench. Okay, give me a minute. Here you go. Andre, I'm sending you the wrench you asked for. Right. Llave verde. It's a number five wrench. I feel like I can fix anything with it. Anything with number five nuts or bolts, claro. anyway. Hasta ahora no he usado la, la llave. Number five. Yes. Otherwise, I would never know what size of wrench it is. Y esta de aquí es una llave green number six inglesa del 6. It reads number six. Seguramente le voy a dar esta llave en vez de la verde. Pero como es, ay, como es daltónico no se va a dar cuenta. Porque seguro que más adelante necesito una llave del 6 y no del 5. Así que le voy a dar a esta. Thanks. Let's see. Esto va a explotar. Hey, there's something funny going on with the bridge. It's a short circuit. You should check it before everything catches fire. You know too much. Something tells me you had something to do with it. 
maybe he did, maybe he didn't. Maybe it's all Tony's fault. But the thing is, if you have a short circuit going on, and an incompetent co-worker you're trying to deal with? It's not the time to point fingers. It's time to try to fix the mess. I guess you're right. But I will talk with you later. Ah, cerró la puerta. Did you tell him it was all my fault? No, 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 no. It was all la part of my llave. rhetorical device. I'm not convinced. The hell are you doing? Are you trying to burn down the bridge? It ain't my fault. These things are too complicated. How the hell did you set this on fire with just a wrench? Sometimes I think you are a gremlin in disguise. Give me some space. La furgoneta está cerrada con llave. Ay no, ¿dónde va? Está cerrada con llave. ¿Y ahora qué? Cables. I can't untie that mess. That doesn't have number six bolts. Vale, no me digas que esto también es para desatar. Ta también necesito el libro de nudo. Hello. Hello, kids. This is kind of getting out of control. Yep. Will you mind giving us some space? Sorry, we don't need electrocuted kids running around this mess. Necesito el libro. El libro de nudos, pero para eso. Voy a ir a otra vez. Voy a probar aquí en la tienda de videojuegos. Voy a intentar cambiar el cartucho. Want to trade your game in the trading club? Yeah. Por el libro de nudo. Game. Well, first we have to see if it works. It doesn't. Just give him a minute. It will start at any moment. If the game doesn't work, then you can't trade it. Hey, now it works. Great. Want to trade it on the trading club? Hmm. Okay. Cool. Pick anything from the box. Bueno, lo único que hay. I just traded a rad game for the Boy Scouts Guide to Essential Knots. Ahora que tenemos el libro de nudos, podemos hacer dos cosas. Lo primero es podemos deshacer el nudo que hay aquí hecho con los cables. Aren't they going to notice? They're too busy arguing. If I take this here. Bien, ya tenemos el alargador. El alargador se lo teníamos que dar al creador del videojuego del, del laberinto. Que estaba aquí. Just plug it in there. Lights on! <laughs> now it's Christmas Eve! <laughs> and I didn't forget your reward. To solve the unicorn riddle, the correct answer is 115. What is the logic behind it? 
the unicorn's question is, tell the emergency backwards. Well, you see, the emergency number is 911. But backwards, it's 119. But you have to subtract a goblin from the cereal box and eight lions from the toy lines. But each lion's worth just half. So it's 119 minus 4 comes out to 115. That puzzle doesn't make any sense. And even the math is wrong. Los más que los puse, los puzzles de los videojuegos no son así, porque si no, <risa> imposible. Bueno, no son así la mayoría. Vale, ahora eh, vamos a la granja y vamos a utilizar otra vez el libro de nudos para deshacer la red. Okay, so this goes here, then here, and done. They were mainly triple marinero knots. Pues ya tenemos todo para crear la la trampa. Tenemos la trampa para osos, la red y solo falta el agujero que ya sabemos para quién nos va a ayudar a hacer el agujero. Como ya sabemos resolver el, el puzzle del unicornio del videojuego. It's an Atari 22. Hi, Bull. Hi, kids. May I give this game a try? Yeah, please do. Just keep in mind, this game is really unfair. Este es el comienzo de una historia fantástica. Hagamos un viaje a la cueva del monstruo. Buena suerte. Elige una puerta. 1, 2, 3 o 4. Pone 4, pero aquí pone 6. No sé por qué. Told you this game. Vale. Probemos otra vez. Es. Probemos con la primera. Hi, Bull. Hi. May I give this game? Yeah. A ver, cuatro. un unicornio mágico. Hola, jovencito. Yo soy Error, el unicornio de los acertijos. De modo que quieres saber el código para obtener mi corona por astero, daremos el acertijo. Si lo respondes correctamente, te daré el código que buscas. Di la emergencia al revés. I think the correct answer is y -X -N -E -G -R -E -M -E. Because it's emergency backwards. What about emerging it? Because he says the emergency backwards. What about stranger? He says that a lot. And I'm sure the logic of this game sucks. Vale, sabemos que la respuesta es 115, que no lo acaba de decir el creador del propio juego. Well, this makes no sense at all, but according to Mr. Wilson, it's 115, and he made the game. Salvaste a la princesa y eres digno de la corona. Ahora puedes llamar a la línea directa de la aventura del laberinto y darles la contraseña 1119111 en la opción Gané el juego. Noted. Vale, ahora que ya no está jugando, le podemos decir que este está despierto. Hi, Bo. 
Hi, kids. Hey, the guy over there woke up. Awesome. Now, kids, wait outside a minute. Monica and I need to talk with this gentleman in private. Do you think the bull is going to kill him? I don't think so. It's not his style. He doesn't kill in cold blood. Are you sure? Yes. Almost positive. Okay, kids. I have the information I was looking for. Can you help us with the alien thing? Nah, sorry. I got a lot of work to do right now. I have to gather the guys, dig a huge hole, load a truck, and send it to... somewhere else. Can you at least tell us where you are going to dig the hole? Yes. It could be crucial in setting our trap. <sighs> okay. But I need you to wait here for about 30 minutes, then go to the green wood. You will find a big hole there, but after that, we are even. Okay? Perfect! We have a deal. Sure! What favor does he owe you? Oh, that. I gave him the number for a good pizza place. He really appreciates that kind of stuff. Vale, ¿podemos entrar? No, no podemos entrar. A ver lo que le ha hecho al que estaba ahí, pero no. Vale, se supone que tiene acabado un agujero en el bosque. The bull made this hole, and it's extremely deep. We should drop the bear trap inside the hole and put a net above it. Exactly. And then lure the alien. A foolproof trap. No way anyone can escape that. Vale, ha dicho primero colocar la trampa de oso. Done. Luego la red. Well. If the hole is already here, I guess this is the place. Who is going to climb up there? Give me a minute. I'll have this set up in no time. Done! Y poner el cebo, que es la esfera. Okay. I hope this gets the creature's attention. Don't forget to activate it first. Here we go! Now, hide! Do you think he's going to? Now! Drop the net! We got him! That was intense. He he saw us, and he sp spoke to us. He tried to communicate with us. We put together this stupid trap for nothing! For nothing! We wasted God knows how much time setting this trap up for nothing! Oh, wait, let me correct myself. It wasn't for nothing. Now the killer creature seems to be even stronger! We don't know that. I think he is right. Hmm. Apparently that sphere was one of his eyes. And it appears to have been a necessary component to activate his laser beam. We gave him a laser gun! This couldn't get any worse! What the hell? That wasn't far away from here. Let's go see what's going on. Are you nuts? If you are right. And we gave that creature a weapon. If someone is in danger because of something we did, 
then it's our responsibility. We should go see what's going on and try to stop that thing. Bogus. I hate when you're right. Let's go.